Now that I picture the title. Alright, well, everybody. This Hi, is... guys. It's me, Boo. And I'm Dad from Boo and Dad, Dad TV. TV. And today we're going to be reviewing the WWE Spinner Championship. Right. Yeah, this was our second commemorative uh, title. It's actually a replica. Replica title. Oh, replica. Okay, I get them confused. All right, replica title. Gotcha. All right. Okay, so let's check out the bag. So, yeah, here's the nice little case that you get with it. It's got a foam pad under here uh, that helps protect the title. Boo, you want to show them the back? Okay, so it's mainly a black bag. Right. It has the current WWE logo. Yep. It has championship spinner replica. Right. And the back. So commemorative are the plastic titles. Yeah, this is Okay, a replicas are the metal titles. Yeah. Okay, I got you now. And there's the back. Got a zip that runs all along it. Um, so you can get it out. Boo will go ahead and open it up now, and we'll show you what it looks like. This is from the John Cena era, at least what I call it. Uh, the Spinner Championship. Right, sorry, babe? sorry guys, we're actually about the noise. We're actually um, watching Super Showdown. Right, all right, right well, come on back to the video here. So here it comes, drum roll, Boog. And here is, oops, almost. Ta da! The WWE Spinner Championship. Hey, and it, as you can don't see, don't demonstrate it spins yet. It spins. All right, Boog, you'll lay it up here on the table. We'll take a look. Wow, this is nice. Uh, this this title has got a lot of detail in it. I'm gonna scan both sides so you can see. And there's the end. Really, really good looking belt with lots and lots of detail. And there's a lot to it too. This is and, a big 3D um, eagle here. So this part's kind of 3D with the champ on it. We also actually told you when I got the WWE World Heavyweight Championship that I please show them. Uh, yep, we reviewed it earlier, but there it is over there on the couch. And so, might as well tell you when we got this one. I got, I got this, I got this one for Christmas last year, I believe. Um, yeah, I think it was for Christmas, and I had smarted up, and, and instead of buying this at one of the shows, got it online at one of the, I guess it was the Christmas sale. So normally this is, I think, about $4.25, and we got it for, I know it was at least $100 off, so somewhere around, I guess, $3.25. So not bad. Uh, 100 bucks is 100 bucks. that's always a good thing. And I'm going to start down here, and you kind of see all the detail of it. Uh, and then we will also actually go into more detail. Yeah, every bit of it has got some diamond studs. So, of course, all these are metal plates. So we have di we have diamonds going all around. Right. And then we have the gold inside. And then little tiny square jewels, I think. Yeah, just lots and lots right of cool here. little details with this belt. And then we have WWE Scratch logo. Yeah, because that's the logo they used during this era. And then World Wrestling Entertainment. Right. And then we have the second one. Which has jewels going all around here, some triangles right here, on top and bottom. And then it says champion. Then it has WWE champion. Mm hmm And then we have lots of tiny even little jewels in the WWE logo. I love yeah. the green here with the is this with the eagle? Yeah, this these is really are cool. like 3D. these are like um these are like diamond, like jewels or something. Yeah, I'm sure these are kind of like cubic zirconium or plastic for this particular belt. So but. Here, and then they have tinier diamonds right here, and then the 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 eagle, which is, pretty much this is actually what it is, is an eagle. Yeah. And it has silver and gold to represent the eagle. Lots of eagle. eagles on this and belt, which one, I love. And the one and the one little um, jewel right there to represent the eye. Yeah, but just lots and lots of little detail on this belt. And a giant jewel right there. Right, and you can feel all the different um, textures. textures. Yeah, with the designs, which is just really, really cool. Then we get over and to the main plate, and it's we'll just actually, more... Well, actually, first, let's go over the, uh, this side. And so pretty much, it's the same exact plate, except flipped. Yeah, so we won't go over it too much, because it's pretty yeah. much the same exact on the other side. Well, might as well, while we're down here, check out the snaps. Snaps. Nice metal, standard and, snaps. And actually, the this one is 
Uh, the WWE Championship is textured. This one's not. It's all smooth, uh, except for right here. You just got a little bit of a design uh, there. Right yeah, here so we can show the WWE Championship, which has got more of a texture feel all over it. But this is all smooth. Like I said, just one little single simple design, um, which and is really then cool. Lots of little refits, and then here is the um, snap box. Right. And then here is the other connector. Of course, piece. the nice metal snaps on this end. Now let's go on to probably the pretty much center the, plate. Yeah, the, well, actually, pretty much the coolest part about this. Which, which I would say. And actually, we can also get a nameplate for this title. Yeah, these couple little screws pop out. And this changes out real easy, and you can order an engraved nameplate of whatever superstar you would like, I believe. So, guys, comment down below what nameplate you think we should get. Yeah, as you can see, we haven't done ours because Boog is still undecided. <laughs> and then, so, pretty much it has diamonds going all around. Right. And then the silver for the background of the nameplate. I just like the shape of the plate. It's really cool. And also, uh, the the screws here take a flathead screwdriver, just to let you know. Right. And then... And I'll try to get down here to get you a look at it. The most impressive thing about the plate, you is kind of that, see it from this angle. Is that it's stacked. Yeah, how 3D it is, because like you said, it's stacked. I guess these are probably removable pieces that come off, but yeah. you can see how, how raised they are. And the actually, title. Dad, I just noticed this. Come closer here. They actually added, like, the bending parts right here. Yeah, yeah. You kind of get a little bubbly there because that, that's where it bends. But, guys, are you ready for the most awesome part about this? Yes. It spins! Boog loves to spin. Um, this one does spin really well. It's like it's well balanced. You don't hear any noises or anything. It's but smooth. If, but, okay, I'm going to hold it and see... See, it actually, you guys might not be able to hear it, but actually it clanks. You can hear a little whirl sometimes, get it out of, out of sync. Okay, but also, another cool thing is the background of it. Yeah, back in here, it's almost like the big gold belt. It's almost like they took little elements from all the previous belts and kind of made this one, which is also makes it cool. But yeah, this is definitely feels like a design. Of course, it's all textured of the of big gold there in the background and of okay. course you got the scratch logo which is really cool with more diamonds even around this side and actually um it's well really you guys might be confused but what but like why do why does this title have the have this look why do the titles have different logos well it's because from i believe 2000 uh, I believe when WWE became WWE, it was always this logo. But in 2014, they d decided to change the logo and go with this. Right. And I guess that's when they changed the titles, all right? Yeah. Went from this, they go from this to this, or is there one in between? Um, they had um, pretty much the exact same thing as this, just it had the Scratch logo. That's right. So actually there was one in between and it was the Scratch logo version, which, which I didn't care for at all. I like this title much better. Now it looks good on this belt, I think, but didn't like it when it was on this design. So Dad, now let's go keep on going through this belt. There's little yellow jewels right here. Yeah, yellow jewels in the corners. About six, on e two, three on each side. And then we have a giant eagle. And it's faded too, which I really, really like. You got jewels up here on his top, but yeah. his and head then, is kind of silver. The end of the tips and, of wings is silver. And then also they have a red jewel right there that represents the eye. Which is really, and really cool. And then the bottom part, it says actually um in my game in my game that i have i always thought it's a game on oh, my game I, yeah, always, I, could see, I could see that right but it actually says and then it actually says champ champ yeah. because you guys well let's go with, into a, couple, a bit of history with this title all right while you do that we're going to flip it over and show them the back the first the first ever champion was john cena he yeah. actually made this title in 2005, on, uh, in 2005. Yeah, it always reminds me of his era. And actually, it seems like the John Cena belt for sure. And actually, um, the belt was actually made on Dad's birthday. Here's the back. You got a little bit of a texture. It was made on my birthday, really? Yeah, remember we we'll talked texture about back here. That. Oh yeah, and of course you got your official serial number and WWE logo. 
Yep. The official authenticity, you probably can't see it, but authen authenticity logo here. And we'll move on down to the end. Rest of it's pretty standard. But yeah, this is a great belt. Boo, what do you give it on a 1 to 10 scalp? Well, first of all, it does dead that. Um, but this one, I give it a 9. Okay, but what's wrong with it that doesn't quite give it to a 10? Well, I don't give out perfect scores too often, so I think a 9 is pretty good. It's got a lot of detail in it, um, so you can tell a lot of extra work went into this. So I feel like it, unlike the WWE Championship, it probably is worth a little more money. And funny, since Which how we've been paying a hundred dollars less <laughs> because of the sale, but you can see, you can see the extra value in this in this belt. I think versus this one, and I do like this one too. It's a cool looking belt, but um, but this one, like you said, it, it it obviously took a lot more work to to do something like this, and it's just a really cool look. So yeah, I give it a nine. I like it a lot. Boog. I give it a ten. Oh, a ten. Perfection. Because at, because actually, the reason it gets a 10, not because it looks just like it, is because this, when I, because when I was born, this was the WWE Spinning Championship. It was, which yes. actually With the day they changed it, which actually, that meant a lot to me, so. Yeah, you don't want to see the one that, when I was born, <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was the WWF one, right? Yes. Bob Backlund, I think, had it way back then. <laughs> Wait, remember, he lost it less than a couple of seconds of Diesel on the house show. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, this was way before that. Yeah. yeah. Well, all right, folks. I think that um, wraps up oh, our review uh, on the W oh, Spinner so, Championship. Oh, uh, wait. I think I know. Wait a minute. You're, um, it was the green one. Yeah, it was. All right. Okay. Okay. Get, wait. But first, before we go, this is what it looks like on me. Right. There you go. A little big for Boo, but he loves it. And then this is what it looks like on Dad. All right, folks. But either way, even, even, we definitely say that you should get this championship. Yep, it is great. As always, wait for the sales. They're well worth it. But yeah, if you're into this, I highly recommend it. And unlike the other one who has a Jack specific replica, which is that is very nice, I don't think you can get this one um, any other way. Or you could actually spend a little bit of money by getting, I think, the commemorative version of this. Do they have it? That's the plastic version? So they do have no, one that's cheaper? No, uh, well, yeah, it's plastic, but actually, it's kind of the. And actually, just to let you guys know, even if you do get the commemorative, it will still have the screws. Right, just plastic plates instead of metal. Yeah. All right, folks. Well, for Boog and Dad TV, okay, we'll see you guys, next time. Make sure to subscribe to Boog and Dad TV for more awesome toy fun. Bye. Bye bye.